That looks cool, Tony. See you later, I'm taking uh, this I'm just going to Yo, what's up guys? Um, we're here, we've got something very special today. We've got the new bomber jacket from Engine Hawk. This thing's releasing soon, we don't need the exact date yet, but we'll keep you posted. The reason we put this into development is because so many riders were actually saying, can I get a bomber jacket from you guys? We found that in the surveys, uh, over 60% of riders had a bomber jacket in their wardrobe and you know this brand is all about making gear that looks great on and off the bike so we wanted to bring a bomber jacket to you so these guys went to work and we'll introduce, introduce this man Jamie the head of branding all right there how you doing uh, joined the team literally uh, only I guess it's been about a few months now absolutely loving it um, it's been amazing to have you my friend yeah mate it's been awesome <laughs> so uh, yeah we've got some absolutely insane embossing going on here uh, silicon in the back of it so you get the uh, the structure there uh, and then the EH here on the textile uh, same with the silicon so you get the structure um, but we've also just got the, the signature zips um, with the metal look here um, and on this up here you can see we've got EH uh, and here the hawk's head as well so this is kind of nice little tricks that you might not see uh, but are definitely there if you look close it reads across it just yeah, reads across yeah, there just reads there. across there uh, we've got this awesome tape running down the front as well it's really strong and it's um, we've got this uh, lovely print detail on as well uh, again very subtle but uh, definitely there all the perforation under the arm as well adds a little bit of texture and detail yeah this is an absolutely amazing piece um, we're going to delve deeper into the detail with the product going forward it's already super detailed and super amazing uh, but we're going to dig even deeper and have some little treats the crazy around. thing that i find out with all these jackets though is that although that looks so freaking good off the bike and you know all the details that you're talking about but the entire thing is abrasion rated mm -hmm. it kind of makes me think how is that like a motorcycle jacket? Because that is a motorcycle jacket, first and foremost. I mean, that will save your life or help save your life in a crash. And yeah, the, the belt loops on the inside. This, this is amazing. Like a, good a lot of riders have been asking about the belt loops. So many people have said, have you got belt loops? And until recently, no, we didn't. But a lot of the future jackets will have them in. For those that don't know, you simply attach your jacket to your belt loop. So how we've tried to make it flexible and simple is just put the loops on there um, and they're elasticated as well so you still have that comfort of the ride but it's tested security and if you want to see what this bad boy looks like on an actual body and a very fit body at that oh, we've okay. actually <laughs> man crush yeah, yeah. Um, we've actually so had uh, uh, Jay Morton in uh, today and he's been trying on the kit and stuff so yeah check out these pictures of it <laughs> flashbangs in that or picking up for a talker like yeah easy this, uh, this is an extra large, yeah? <laughs> extra yeah. Extra medium. <laughs> extra medium. Extra medium. What do you yeah, think sweet. of it? Really nice. Nice and relaxed. Nice and loose. This stuff's good, isn't it? The vented leather. So we got perforated leather on the underarm. Yeah. yeah. And with the double cuffs there, mm -hmm. uh, for the ride safety, you've got the old yeah, yeah. So especially if you come off as well, that's going to... Yes, and it you know, stops uh, wind and debris going up the yeah. stairs as well. Yeah, I like this one. And you've got the nice little action back. Personal favourite. Yeah, nice. Yeah, it's nice and casual, this one. Yeah. And that's the fully armoured as well, right now. Yeah. Just Jay's dealt. He, he has got a bit of help here, although he doesn't need it. That's quite a small guy in real life. <laughs> this is actually an extra small, seriously. <laughs> uh, it, is, it is compatible with the old thermal bombers. Thermal bombers. Thermal bombers. Um, and it's in the wax nylon shell, so we've got AAA tear resistant in that fabric. Um, and we've got the same skin, the cow dutch, that we've used in our current ranges as well because it's a proven test, this piece of kit. It's lightweight and, as Jay said, it feels quite... It's quite, quite like uh, the leathers, are, they're quite fitted, so um, this is a lot looser fit, so it feels a lot more... I don't know, it feels comfier, just looser, just very casual. So yeah, it's, ba nice. it's balanced with the mm. textile body then? Yeah, 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 It doesn't yeah. feel too heavy. No, nah, I mean, it feels like a bomber, right? It has a bomber fit as opposed to a leather jacket fit, so. Then the old, open those up and you've got ventilation again. Yeah, nice. Uh, through there, same again with the pockets. Mm -hmm. Feel like I'm taking uh, this I'm one. Just yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, thankfully, we've got Jay Morton to fan. Yeah. And if you're wondering why Jay Morton was here, um, we've been working with Jay for a while now. Um, he's a big fan of the brand and we're a big fan of his and uh, he came down he's doing a PT session so a load of guys are out there right now getting beasted 
and then he did a little talk through about mental resilience and uh, special forces selection and the army and all the sort of stuff. Really cool, wasn't it? Yeah, there's a second session where we're getting beasted too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so after this, we're going to do that. So. What do I call it? Yeah. Oh, well, do we want to get people to name it or do we want to? Oh, why not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why yeah. Not? I yeah. mean, we, but what, 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 we've got a name. Let's yeah, start so we, well, we, we, yeah, we had, yeah, we had Moto Bomber, didn't we? Mm -hmm. um, which is pretty cool. But then we had um, Burnout Bomber. So we're trying to add a little bit of, you know, some character to it. Um, we, like we, we like burnout. We like burnout. Burnout's cool. But you guys um, are amazing at coming up with uh, the things because the waterproof ones, the tridents and yeah, things yeah, yeah. like that. Uh, what's your thoughts on this bad boy's name? Leave a comment below. 